Hi guys, just finished doing uh, a bit of English revision and um, thought I'd make a video. Uh, this video is just, I just drew my hand with a pen, right. Um, this video is just about an update and something I need from you guys. Now, the update is about series, or oh, Red Dwarf series of all. I have watched n every episode of Red Dwarf Series 6. I got to Out of Time, which was the last episode on the back. Out of Time. Can't really see it because the lighting. Well, yeah, you can really, you can't make it out. But um, uh, in the middle of Out of Time, it stopped working. So I'll hopefully get in touch with Play.com, tell them about it, and they'll be able to resend me a new one on there. But the strange thing is, there seems to be nothing wrong with the disc. Oh yeah, I've got YouTube on. Um, let me just turn it off. And yeah, that's a picture of loading with run crew with Matt in a Santa Claus costume. But there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the disc. That's the thing I'm a bit confused about. I mean, I can't see any scratches. It seems to be a fingerprint, but I'll, I won't wipe that off y j just yet. So I've watched every episode of this. Um, I briefly checked the second disc. Uh, there doesn't seem to be smeg ups. I couldn't find them at least. Um, but there is apparently Easter eggs on here, so I might have to find them. Um, I'm starting to watch series th series three. But, um, you know, I'm on the first episode, I've just got it on my mini DVD player down here. So, yeah. Um, right, now, what I want from you guys is, you all know that I have a DS, you know, in DS. And for some reason, my brother said it looks yellow. And, um, yeah, it's green. You've seen it before. And, uh, you should know, Andrew, because, you know, you, you, you used to live here. And you, you have seen a green DS before, so... So, yeah, you all know I have an R4 card. And, um, I just want to know what you guys want to see. Because, if you want to see a game review, I mean, I've been playing the same games over and over and over again on this. And I'm getting really tired. I've watched the NDS Gamers re uh, review on unrecognised DS games. And I'll be trying some of that, especially the, um, Sega... Uh, the Sega uh, Superstars Tennis. So I'll be putting this on there, maybe reviewing it. Um, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a review? Because I've played Yoshi's Island and it's just Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance. That's really all I can think of explaining it. I mean, I've got Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance and it's really the same. Um, what do you guys want to see in a DS review? I know. Um, nothing apparently, I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, yeah, that's it. Tell me some games you want to know, uh, want me to review, PM me, uh, put a comment down there, you know, get in contact, tell me what you want to see. Um, that's really it. Uh, I've got a few shout outs, especially to people like the NDS Game Reviewer. Uh, thanks for rate, uh, commenting on most of my videos. Um, Thank you to It's Chris the Reviewer. Thank you for all the help you've been giving me with things like lighting. Um, who else? What's my subscribers list? Thank you to everybody who subscribed to me, for one thing, because I know I wouldn't get a lot of subscribers. But thank you so much, everybody. And yeah, just keep watching, keep commenting if you like. But thank you for doing everything that you've done. Thank you for commenting on my videos, thanks for all the help, and yeah, hopefully this will get bigger and bigger. Probably not, but you know, <laughs> it's the fun, you know, it's the fun of doing it, and I like a small community. I don't mind a big community, but a small community right now is quite good for me, because there's not a lot of people, you know, I don't have a lot of PMs, which is another thing, I don't really have a lot of PMs. <laughs> Well, who cares? I mean, I just, I like the small community of people. Um, thank you.
that's all I can really say. Thank you, everybody, once again. And goodbye.